Attention Lancaster County homeowners, the entire season of summer has been a little bit turbulent in the real estate market. And in this video, I'm going to update you on what the latest is as we go into the end of summer, early parts of fall coming up in this video. Hi there, and thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Matt Moore with The Moore Group, a real estate team based right here in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. And as of recording of this video, early September of 2022, we're looking back on the month of August to kind of give you an update on what's going on with the real estate market and project what we might be able to see here through the rest of the fall season. But before we jump into the data and all of the information you need to know, we just wanna say this, we are helping people all the time moving to and within Lancaster County. If that's you, if you're thinking about selling your house or maybe buying a house in the Lancaster County area, we would love to have a conversation with you. So we'll put our information quickly up here on the screen. Promise it won't last long. We'll get right into the data. And again, we would love to have that conversation. So call us, text us, email us, smoke signal. As I always say, carrier pigeon, it doesn't matter. We will get in contact with you and have that conversation. All right, let's dive right into it and the data you need to know for August 2022 in the real estate market here in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. First things first, I'm sure you've been reading the articles. I'm sure you've been keeping tabs of what's going on in the news. A lot of doomsday scenarios, a lot of people talking about the recession word and saying, hey, our country is headed in that direction. Housing markets have already been disrupted. Housing markets in some uh, communities have already seen substantial changes and even in some cases, some home values declining. Well, I'm here to say this, if you live in Lancaster County, if you're thinking about buying in Lancaster County or selling in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, I have good news for the sellers and maybe some information you need to know for buyers. That is, the housing market that we've seen so far in Lancaster County has not responded the same way that the national average is happening. To the point where some housing markets are declining rapidly, in Lancaster County, we continue to see home values increasing. But let's talk about the data, the raw numbers and what's going on. And right when we get into this data, the first thing I want to point out is that the nation as a whole is not the same. So you hear about these national averages. What's happening on a localized level is not the same as what's going on on a nationwide scale. Check out this map from Fortune Magazine. And as you can see, it breaks it down on a county by county level, the areas most likely to see home values decreasing. Now I want to focus solely on Lancaster County and zooming in here. And as you can see from the map, one of the few areas really in all of Pennsylvania that has either a low or very low chance of seeing home values decline in the coming year. Again, this is from Fortune Magazine. And there's a couple of reasons why, and of course there's obviously data driven behind it, but really the sentiment here in Lancaster County is that it is a great place to live. And also it is an affordable place to live relative to some of the surrounding areas. It hasn't quite seen the bloat or the degree of intense frenzy that other markets have seen. Of course, the biggest driver for what we are seeing right now in terms of the slowdown in the market is that there's some uncertainty with the economy, whether it be from recession fears, the interest rates that have been highly variable and subject to fluctuations rapidly as we go from week to week. And that has led a lot of home buyers and people that have been drawing interest in terms of home buying to maybe take a step back and wait things out until things become a little bit more solidly defined. All right, let's talk raw numbers in terms of sale price. Median sale price in the month of August 2022 here in Lancaster County has gotten up to $310,000, which is the highest number that I've seen it here in Lancaster County. So we are continuing to see home values going up. And the reason the home values continue to go up is because of the demand. Let's go right into that showing demand index. And what you're looking at here is on a regional scale, how Lancaster County ranks in terms of the showing demand index. This is a product from our multiple listing service that really just accumulates all of the data from the number of showings and then compares it to not only the other counties nearby, but also compared to past days and months in time. And as you can see, and has, has been consistent for the last, well, pretty much the last couple of years, is that Lancaster County tends to stick out with one of the highest scores all around. And what this means is that in the region, Lancaster County still continues to have a very strong showing demand index. There's a lot of demand and there's a lot of people still flocking to Lancaster County. And even when we shrink it down to the small scale, look at just the county level and separate it by zip codes, most of the county is in orange, as you can see here, showing a high demand showing index. Now, just because you're in an area that's a blue zip code, that does not mean that the market has collapsed in your zip code. That's not what this is saying. It's just saying relative to previous 
additions of this showing demand index, things have gone down just a little bit, enough to paint the county or the zip code in blue. So again, most of the county is showing orange, meaning the demand is high. It's slightly lower than in previous showing demand indexes and a few other zip codes, but all around still remaining very competitive. And in Lancaster County, that has led to some pretty substantial list price versus sale price numbers here within the county borders. Look at the numbers here. When it comes to looking at what the homes actually sell for on average versus what they are listed for, that number coming in at 105%. And I've been keeping track of this for the last couple of years. And this is one of the highest numbers that I've seen from a list price to a sales price ratio. Still an incredible time to sell your home and good homes in good areas are still selling for above asking price value as long as the home is marketed well and priced correctly to begin with. Now, when interest rates spiked back in the middle of June, we did see a little bit of a step back on those July numbers showing the number of closed sales. Those dropped down to about 500 of uh, all homes that closed in all of Lancaster County, but that's back up now, back up to about 550 closed homes here in the Lancaster County area for the month of August. So back up to pacing to where kind of where we have been in terms of the number of homes that have closed. So a little bit of a blip in the market back in June led to some effects in the month of July and the data, but it looks like back now to August, things have sort of ironed themselves out. I think people are starting to dip their toes back in as the interest rates have, yes, they're pretty unpredictable and kind of highly variable from week to week, but overall they have not seen the spike that what we saw back in mid-June. And looking at those days on market, uh, looking at the last couple of months, those have averaged right around 12 days on market, but in the last month has jumped up to 16 days on market. And that's the highest number that we've seen in a long time here in Lancaster County in terms of the average days on market. But we've also seen a higher number of price drops from what they were previously listed at. So yes, we are seeing some bonkers list price versus original price and what it actually sells for and that ratio. We are seeing some very competitive situations that are driving those up. But at the same token, in some areas, we're still seeing price cuts. Again, combination of home, pri home pricing homes too high, thinking that the market is still the way that it was. And that's just not the case anymore. So here's the takeaway on everything. Pricing your home too high is still absolutely possible to do, especially now where the market has shifted a little bit, has softened a little bit. Buyers are becoming more aware of what's overpriced, what's not. And there's a little bit more for buyers to choose from overall. So if you're thinking about selling your home again, it's incredibly important to have that strategy and make it solid up front so that you have the highest rate of success and the best sale price, best market conditions for your home in particular. And for home buyers, what it means is that there are more opportunities for you out there and not necessarily you have to stick your necks out quite as far as you had to earlier this year. So something to be aware of as a home buyer in this marketplace is that yes, contingencies are starting to come back. Home inspections are starting to become more and more common. And what that means for you is that a little bit less risk for you as a home buyer. It's an interesting time in our real estate market here in Lancaster County right now, just simply from the standpoint of we have these pockets where things are red hot and we're still seeing competitive bidding war situations, escalating prices way, way up. But at the same time, in some markets, we are seeing homes being priced too high and subsequent price cuts on those homes in order to get them back in line with what the market is saying those homes are worth. Back in the day, earlier this year, that wasn't the case. People were just throwing out numbers like crazy. Uh, that's changed a little bit. And so for that reason, it's important to have a really solid strategy moving forward. And that's where we come in with the Moore Group. Of course, we are real estate agents and professionals right here in Lancaster County, and we can help you structure a strategy to help sell your home for the highest price possible and with the smallest amount of inconvenience and stress as we possibly can make for you. But it all comes down to being realistic about what your home is worth and being realistic about what it takes to sell your home in your particular area. So it's all about that upfront conversation. We're open and honest with you. You can visit our website, themoregrouplancaster.com to learn more about what we are, who we are, and how we can help you with your real estate goals. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Matt Moore. Again, here is my information right up here on the screen. Please reach out anytime, text, call, email, whatever works best for you. Visit our website, fill out a contact form too, and we'll get in touch with you in any way we can. Until next month, when we do this market update video again, we'll talk soon and hope to be in touch.